Okay, so we 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 continue. We start again. Very sorry. I apologize for the all the difficulties. Uh, so, uh, what is interesting also to share is in your organization right now. Uh, for example, in case of management of change, uh, who is in charge uh, of the management of change? Is it at the top level? Is it at the business unit? For example. Is it described in your documentation? Yes, no. What kind of tools do you use? And do you have any example of uh, what, 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 what was the last uh, change you analyzed, for example? Các anh chị có nghe được chưa? Em nói từ phòng này có nghe được không? Anh nào trên Zoom nói? Nghe tốt nhá, nghe tốt. Thế, thế có người chắc là không nghe được thì anh kiểm tra lại mic nhá. Loa của anh. Anh thoát khỏi webex nhá. Thôi bây giờ bắt đầu tiếp tục. Yeah, you can continue. Uh, yeah, so uh, j j j just may you may you answer to to this question uh, today in your in your organization, who is in charge of uh, management of change? Is it at the top level? Is it in the business unit and you coordinate that uh, within the organization? What? What was the last uh, analysis this management you, you have performed? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, this is a question for everyone in the class. <laughs> yeah, 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 everyone. But you are you are 28 or 30, so just two, three answer uh, yeah. coming from uh, pilot side, uh, coming from uh, maintenance side, the ground ops, ju just to have a, a, an idea of your organization. Uh, vâng, anh xin mời anh uh, Lê Đức Tòa, à, Toán đi ạ. Anh ở bên uh, Baiko đúng không ạ? Ừ. Vâng, anh Toán ơi, không biết là anh có một số những cái ví dụ gì không ạ? Uh, hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, it's okay for me. I'm to you that I'm not uh, working in uh, Baiko. I'm from Southern Prison branch of Vietnam Airlines and, and I'm working in uh, xin lỗi anh Toàn ơi, bọn em không nghe thấy anh đang nói gì ạ? Should be in charge of the chain study because the the head of the department uh... anh toàn ơi <cười> bọn em cũng không nghe thì anh nói ha xin chào ông 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 The line is not good, and I have an uh, incoming call. So I'm I'm study on the uh, the phone, so I have an uh, incoming call. Sorry. Ah, vâng. Ah, thế thì à, tí nữa anh toàn có thể phát biểu sau ạ. Thế em bây giờ em xin mời anh thức đi ạ. Hello. I'm a captain thức from three twenty one, please. And uh, for this. Um, Management. We have so many documents, and uh, um, we have one one application for for this one. It's called uh, <clears throat> uh, GCBD. This is from the SQD established, and we own the document here. We following, and uh, the tune. And uh, normally, when anything is happen. 
we received the data, the fly uh, data analyst from the SQD, they will send to us. And uh, after that, we, uh, we analyze the data and we find out uh, that was the problem. And we might be briefing with the fly crew. And after that, we go for, uh, for, the, for the whole uh, company uh, debriefing if uh, the case is quite, uh, quite serious. And uh, for example, now if we have the, any uh, park landing, um, first, uh, SQD, we have the, the data first and they send the information to us and uh, we need to contact with fly crew and after us, the fly crew will make the report. And after uh, we check all the data, on the relevant, uh, relevant information about uh, the fly and uh, we made appointment and uh, we have meeting where the first Yeah. Any comments? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. In order to come back on, uh, I uh, I work also with Mr. Germany. I don't know if you are aware of this gentleman, and he performs some audit in your in your organization. And uh, for example, he told me that uh, recently, uh, in the past, you face with uh, some uh, problem regarding the uh, unattended uh, sli uh, escape slide uh, de de deployment on Airbus 321. Uh, are you are you aware? Hello. Hello. Sorry, can you repeat me? Because the connection is. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I heard. I heard uh, that you you face in the past with some uh, uh, inadvertent slide deployment because you change the procedure. Uh, my question was. Uh, who who was uh, who was involved in what kind of uh, event analysis? Vâng ạ. Trong uh, bác ấy thì cũng có nghe thấy là có một cái trường hợp thì thì một cái công tác người Đức ấy ạ. Nó cũng đã nói là ở Vietnam Airlines thì đã có từng có trải qua cái trường hợp slide deployment. Không biết là anh chị đã có biết về cái thông tin này chưa? Thì, uh, À, vui lòng nêu một số thông tin dụng cũng như là dẫn chứng về cái trường hợp này liên quan đến tổ chức à? à nó là thực ra là nó là sẽ về là kiểu bên nam phi công đấy à vâng 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 mà thực ra các chính sách mà liên quan slide uh, employment ấy thì thường là từ các bang uh, excuse me let me explain how uh, our structure in the many of the chains uh, study. Uh, for example, you set that on slide uh, start. Um, in headquarters, uh, the, the main duty belongs to uh, human resource department. And we mm -hmm. respond for the, to, to, to set up the policy and um, to, uh, to, to, uh, to set up the policy on the slide um, employee. Mm -hmm. And after that, um, after that, uh, on the policy we apply for on the unit of the Vietnam Airlines. But uh, for each, uh, for each, uh, how to say, for each area, for example, uh, operations or technical or service, we have a separate uh, policy on the uh, slide stack. For example, uh, in um, operations area, especially for the pilots and for the cabin crew, uh, we, uh, we will set up a specific A specific uh, policy apply on the pilot and um, and um, coming crew. So the main uh, the main duty to set up the policy uh, the policies 
belong to the human department and they are the unit uh, for the uh, fly division or cabin crew that will follow the policy from the headquarters. Um, Pierre, are you mentioning about the fly deployment of, of the aircraft, correct? Hello? Yeah. yeah, what I would like to know is uh, yeah, you, you, you face with some uh, problem regarding the escape slides, yeah. uh, slide inadvertent slide deployment, and well, well, I would like to analyze why you change uh, your procedure uh, for that, and how do you do, how do what do you do uh, to avoid that kind of uh, in a, it, typically, you change your process and you face with new uh, slide deployment, inadvertent slide deployment. So, uh, your management of change was not properly analyzed. Otherwise, uh, you do not have such uh, such inadvertent uh, slide deployments. You see what I mean? Um, yes. Ok, um, không biết là anh chị có biết là về cái um, câu hỏi của bác hay không ạ? Thì các anh chị có thể um, nêu xem là mình có biết hay là mình chưa hiểu hay là mình như nào không ạ? Thì trong cái trường hợp này thì bác ấy đang giải thích là uh, bác ấy đã nghe từng nghe là trong một cái hệ thống như kiểu là ví dụ hạ cánh gần cấp ấy, à, gần cấp ấy ạ, ở slide, gọi là slide deployment thì uh, Vietnam Airlines thì mình cũng gặp một số cái trường hợp cũng như là đã có một số sự thay đổi ở trong đấy thì bác ấy muốn hỏi xem mình đã từng Uh, biết một quan cái ví dụ nào mà mình đã thay đổi cái hệ thống hạ uh, khi mà mình hạ cánh khẩn cấp ấy, thì mình có cái sự thay đổi hay không? Slide deployment đó là mình chưa làm những slide của cái ví dụ này The last few years, we have um, uh, some case of the um, slide deploy uh, from the aircraft. So um, uh, what I heard that the company already changed the procedure. Uh, at the own the uh, um, domestic airport, the aircraft door will be opened from the outside of the aircraft. Recording in progress. Okay, and, and in that case, so you modify your procedure. Procedure, express police must be changed in the procedure. You hear me clear? Captain Pierre, you hear me clear? Yeah. 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 Uh, we have some uh, inadvertent um, uh, slide deploy by um, uh, uh, wrong procedure opening from inside the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Now we are changed. In mm -hmm. the domestic airport, we ask the ground staff to open the aircraft door from outside of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Automatically disable the um, uh, arming system. Then we don't have case that the uh, the slide, uh, slide will be deployed in the domestic airport anymore. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, okay. And, and why did you change the procedure, basic procedure? Because well, I, uh, I flew, I flew a lot the Airbus 321, and basically in the company, uh, when we arrive at the stand, all doors, uh, even the ex uh, overwing doors, are designed by the by the crew, uh, by the cabin crew. And uh, I understood, uh, if I well understood, you you do not do that previously. 
uh, we um, actually that uh, follow our company procedure. So uh, when we arrive at the parking, so door will be this um uh, for example uh, three twenty one door will be be disarmed by cabin crew. But we are not disarming all of the uh, cabin door. We still keep the uh, over wing door uh, in arming uh, position. And we disarm only uh, the pair number okay. one and the pair number four. And now to avoid the, um, uh, the mistake from the crews, so we will open the door yeah. from outside. It will uh -huh. el eliminate all the chance of the uh, slide will be uh, deployed. Okay. Yeah. And, and just a question, uh, if you perform some benchmark regarding how companies uh, arm and disarm the, the, the slide, uh, I think that the uh, majority uh, arm and disarm all slide. Even even the overwing exit. So why 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 uh, you, you do not uh, stick to that kind of procedure? Uh, for the overwing exit, so we are not using the uh, disarming overwing exit at the parking mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, for domestic flight. Sometimes we reduce the number of the cabin crew to the minimum cabin crew. So uh, for example, for some aircraft, ah. we have only four cabin crew at the time. So we uh, avoid to open the overwing exit. That's why we keep the uh, 321 overwing still in the arm position. And we um, have already put the, um, the, um, uh, the remark on the, uh, the door. That this door will not be open in all case except in emergency. In both Vietnamese and English is for reference. And uh, the rest we still using the um, the, uh, the same procedure for the overwind. But for the main exit door and service door, we changed because of uh, during the last few years, we experienced some uh, um, mistake from the crew, both cabin crew, flight crew, and maybe some uh, uh, mechanics. That's why we changed. And uh, uh, up to now, uh... How many, how many issues did you face with uh, what kind of uh, doors? No, none? Yeah, from the time we changed, uh, we uh, experienced no, um, uh, no mistake on the uh, slide uh, deploy from our staff, but we still have uh, some mistake when the aircraft is under maintenance in the hangar for the uh, okay. over window. That's the remaining problem up to now. Okay, and how do you plan to manage that with the maintenance guide? Uh, right now, we are working with the uh, vehicle to improve our situation awareness during the time we are maintain the aircraft. But uh, the new procedure will be uh, issued very soon. I cannot guarantee about the time, but uh, uh, sooner as possible. Okay, so so you issue a new j j just to continue on this subject. You issue a new procedure. How do you manage the new risk, or how do you manage the that kind of new procedure? Is it in compliance with other operators? Is it a specific one? Uh, did you did you did you discuss with maintenance guy, cabin crew, and so on? How do you how do you do the analysis when you change the procedure? Uh, for the um, maintenance procedure, I think it's better to get some guy in the vehicle. It's easier for, for, for them to explain for you. I'm not working with the vehicle, so uh, whenever they are uh, uh, creating the new procedure, so they have to do the change management. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, what? Uh, because you, you belong to the ops department, yes? Yes, I belong to uh, XP. Yeah, so what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what I mean is, in, in the, when, when you manage a new a new procedure, when you manage a new process and so on, I think it should be it should be interesting uh, to 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 have experts from all all sides. So maintenance side. Yeah, uh, pilot side, the cabin crew, and so on. Otherwise, if you work in silo, 
if we, if you work in silo, maintenance with maintenance guy, flight ops with flight ops guy, uh, cabin crew with cabin uh, crew uh, individuals, I think you perhaps you will miss uh, some uh, some good defenses you may put in place to avoid uh, to to avoid any 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 new 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 problem. So so it's just uh, my feedback, but I think it, it should be interesting to. To, uh, to, to cross-check between flight, cabin, and maintenance, and not to let two uh, maintenance guy or two cabin crew or two ops crew uh, to, 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 let, uh, to let them to, to work on a, on a specific uh, procedure. You, you see yes. what I mean? Yes, yes, I see what you mean. Um, uh, for additional information, so uh, our technical company is a, just a subsidiary company. They have their own quality assurance um, uh, department. And uh, whenever they change uh, their procedure, they will work with us and they ask us for the, our command. But uh, not up to uh, this level yet. They are now working with uh, in their own uh, company to bring up the new procedure. And later on, they will send us for command. Ah, OK, OK. OK, got my idea. OK, thank you very much. OK. So we continue, we continue. Uh, up. Okay. So uh, some, uh, some reminder on the SMS. Uh, uh, if, we, if we look in the, in the past uh, decades, uh, we, saw, we saw that uh, the, uh, the, the ring, uh, uh, during a five uh, decades, we decrease the number of accidents, and we decrease the number a uh, large amount because you see that we 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 start at 37 accident rate per million departure, and we reach uh, roughly zero uh, up to now. Uh, so we do that uh, we do that via a, a race uh, to uh, the safety improvement. And we, when we look at that, uh, we see that everything starts with the ICAO Convention in uh, 1944. Uh, and uh, from time to time, uh, we, we start with the harmonization of uh, worthiness requirement, roughly in the 60s. Uh, so uh, we harmonize uh, uh, how, to, how to manufacture uh, an aircraft. After that, we improve safety with via the uh, ops requirement. Uh, so we put, uh, we, we introduce a, a new regulation to, to put in the airplane uh, the fuel quantity, oxygen quantity, uh, limitation, uh, time limitation, and so on and so on. Uh, a decade later, we introduced the uh, CRM principle, uh, and we and we decrease uh, the trend of the accident with that also. Uh, in IT, we introduced uh, roughly uh, the quality insurance principle, so uh, ISO fourteen thousand, for example. And uh, since uh, 2000, uh, so the ICAO has introduced the SMS. So we see that uh, via uh, through, through five decades, uh, we improve with regulation, with uh, some CRM principle quality SMS. We improve a lot. Uh, we improve a lot the uh, safety. Aviation safety, and that's the reason why we we can reach now uh, such such a, a good number, a good trend uh, in, in in the aviation. Okay. Uh, any any question up to now? No, that's okay. So we continue like that. Uh, the SMS uh, today, all all uh, all item uh, all item are mentioned. In Oh, ICAO Annex 19, and uh, this uh, Annex 19 is for the operator also, but also for the provider, also for states that uh, perform the oversight, the oversight of, the, of the companies, of the operators. So everything is mentioned there. 
uh, you have also a good guideline in a, in a ICAO documentation uh, to, to do that. But I suppose, because the deadline was 2012, I suppose you have already uh, everything mentioned in your, in your documentation uh, and so on. So uh, safety management system is becoming a standard throughout the aviation industry. And it is recognized now by the International Civil Aviation Organization and Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, and all product service provider also stick to, uh, to this uh, standard. Okay, so it's a standard uh, SMS uh, safety management system is a uh, standard for management of safety uh, beyond the, the aviation, for example. Okay, so the framework of the SMS, I know, I suppose you know the four pillars. Uh, pillar one, you have everything regarding uh, the organization, policy, uh, contabilities, uh, documentation. Uh, we, we, spoke, we spoke previously about uh, documentation. Uh, or uh, ops manual part A, B, C, and D. So SMS is basically uh, part of uh, OMA. Uh, part two, pillar two, because uh, ICAO call that pillar. Pillar two is, uh, is dedicated to safety management. Uh, that means uh, hazard identification, risk assessment. So we'll speak. Uh, we speak along during the this today about that. And uh, in pillar three, uh, which is the safety assurance, we see the management of change. And management of change is an essential, an essential part of, of that. Uh, so we'll go further uh, later on on the management of change, but it will be pillar four. And, and at the end, uh, you don't have uh, you, you don't have any 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 uh, positive aspect if you don't have a promotion aspect. So promotion it's a pillar four, and for that uh, you need to train to educate all your individuals. And and the uh, safety policy has to be disseminated uh, throughout your organization. Okay. So. Uh, you Excuse were, me. Yeah, yeah, go. Can, go. can I yeah. have a question, please? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. First of all, uh, good, good morning, uh, instructor and uh, colleagues from uh, Vietnam Airlines Group. I'm yeah. sorry, I, I should turn on my camera first. My name is uh, Phong. I'm working in uh, Cambodia, Angkor Air, and I'm in charge with the uh, SMS uh, system. Yeah. I'm working in the SQS department. Yeah. So, uh, would you please do a uh, slide back? One more slide, please. Uh, yes, and yes. that. Yeah, this one. Yep, in, in here, I can see the four pillar that you introduced in here. Yeah. So, so in here, uh, because now we, we developed the, the, the same idea with this. Yeah. Because we also developed SMSM Based on the ICAO doc uh, five uh, nine eight nine eight five yeah. nine and also the the the, the safety uh, step safety uh, program. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And, and then it is require all of these component. And as I can see, the the the, the management of change you uh, you you just put in here is that it's safety assurance. Yeah. But it's part uh, of the assurance. Yes. Yes. But as I can see during our daily operation, maybe when we have the change, we, we also have, have to, uh, you know, uh, figure out the hazard from that and conduct the risk assessment for the change. Yeah. Is, is that, that correct? So this one, I think the management of change should be, uh, you know, put in the safety risk management also and the safety assurance. Uh, yeah. Safety risk management is a tool. Yeah. For me, for me, it's a tool. 
because uh -huh. you need an accident mapping, you need a, a hazard log, you need a risk matrix and so on. So for me, Pilar 2 is, is tools uh, to, to work on uh, management of change, for example, and, and so on. But uh, it's, it's mentioned like that in the, in the K1 X19. Uh, but after that, it depends uh, how do you write your SMS manual. But for me, Pilar 2 are just tools uh, to, uh, to work on uh, safety performance, to work on safety, on uh, management of change, to work on uh, uh, safety studies, and so on and so on. So you want to analyze an event. I came back on my example of ETCAS during a climb. You have this event, you need to analyze that. To analyze that, you need tools. And tools will be tools uh, you have mentioned in Pilar 2. So uh, depending on your, uh, on your uh, uh, accident mapping, depending on your uh, hazard log, depending on your uh, risk assessment matrix, and so on and so on. You, 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 you see how I handle the, the management of change and, yeah. uh, and handle the tools uh, mentioned in uh, safety risk management. So, so the the chain, the, the main instrument of chain should be in the safety assurance, and the risk management, safety risk management, will deal with the the the, 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 the risk of any change in here, right? Is yeah. that for, the, for, the, the, for the, me, the for idea? Me, you 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 don't have a one uh, one two. Uh, for for me, I consider, and I always consider that pillar two is where I put all my tools uh, to, to analyze uh, event, to, to perform safety analysis, to perform management of change, and so on. And uh, I, I put that in Pillar 2. So okay. I put uh, in order that everybody speaks the same language. You, you see? Otherwise, you work in silo maintenance in maintenance, a flight in flight, and so on. And if you do not speak the same language, uh, it will be very difficult to manage a change, to analyze a report, to analyze a safety case, and so on and so on. Yeah, thank you for your... Yeah, yeah just a feedback. Yeah. He, 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 just a feedback. Yeah, I, I agree, but you, you cannot agree with me. But I give you my position, and I think this position is, uh, is, is interesting, and I try to explain you why. Yep. Thank okay. you. Thank you for your explanation. No problem. OK, we continue a little bit. Uh, so uh, so that's, uh, that's the reason why it's, it's, it's uh, quite important to have uh, a clear wording. Uh, when, when I mentioned previously that uh, Pillar 2 for me was the base of uh, the SMS in an airline, in, a, in an organization, uh, it's, it is Pillar 2 will be uh, the, uh, the, the position where you put all your, uh, your, your, your tools and, and when uh, uh, I speak about tools, I speak about uh, wording. So we have, in the same organization, we have to speak the same language in terms of, in term of uh, safety. But the reason why uh, you need to define in your SMS documentation what you, you call, uh, what is for you, what is the threat for you, what kind of of matrix do you use? How do you use the risk matrix? And so on and so on. Uh, you may have a different approach with some uh, subcontractor and so on, but within your organization, you need to clarify, to clarify uh, all the tools and, and the wording you use in order that everybody speaks the same language. Somebody from uh, from maintenance will understand somebody uh, from uh, cabin or somebody from ground ops. You see what I mean? Okay. So 
we are we, we are playing a little bit with hazard threat risk because it's it's quite interesting and when i deliver the uh, that kind of course uh, in vienac uh, for the master degrees in safety aviation uh, very often is uh, it's it's interesting because we see that for people uh, various people uh, hazard threat risk accident uh, has not the same uh, uh, the same uh, uh, definition so we, we 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 are going to play with some exercise and we'll see uh, we'll see if we agree and if you agree with me okay so first when you perform uh, a safety analysis when you perform a management of risk when you perform uh, an investigation uh, due to due to uh, major issue, an outstanding event, you, you, you need to refer to uh, a methodology. Otherwise, it's impossible. You speak about, uh, you, you, you speak about mid-air collision. Uh, yes, but what is mid-air collision for me in my, in my, uh, in my uh, operation and so on. So to perform a good risk analysis, you need to first to have an accident mapping. So what are my uh, the accident I want to avoid in, in my discipline? I am maintenance, uh, I am a maintenance uh, officer, I am a flight ops, I am uh, and so on and so on. After that, uh, we need to identify what we consider as unwanted event. Uh, and what are the unsafe conditions? So after that, we need to grade the risk associated to the event, to unsafe condition, and so on. And uh, at the end, for sure, we put in place uh, some uh, we put in place uh, some uh, recommendation, action plan, and so on. So this is roughly. Uh, roughly a good uh, a good approach to uh, to to start to start with uh, safety. Uh, so we try we try we we are playing during uh, before before. At what time you you want to to make uh, your your lunch? So according to the schedule, is in fifteen minutes. Okay, in fifteen minutes. So I suggest okay. during fifteen minutes we play we play with some uh, some situation. And and then we do the break after that. Is, is it okay for you? Yes, that's all right. Okay. okay. So, so okay, we we consider you have a list over there of of uh, event and so on. So for you, uh, so we we take uh, uh, we take uh, some uh, some people, uh, but uh, no 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 answer are bad answer. Right? It's just uh, it's just to to play to play with the word and to play with the situation. So for you, what is it? So 30 knots crosswind at landing. Uh, I'm sorry, it's very uh, pilot oriented, but if you have uh, some uh, typical example in other domain, we can share, no problem. Uh, 30 knots crosswind at landing. For you, is it a hazard? Is it a risk? Is it a threat? Let's go. We see the hazards because uh, we have the limitation already. Uh, not cross with maximum. Okay. Uh, everybody agree that uh, that the crosswind uh, is is a hazard and not a threat or a risk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so second example, slippery runway. Slippery runway, is it hazard, a risk, a threat? Ah. A risk. A risk, why? No answer or bad answer. So, so thank you to answer first first thank you to answer but it is not a risk uh, it's not a risk mention uh -huh. your uh, your rationale to, to to tell what it's a risk uh -huh. 
Uh, sorry, but uh, I changed. Uh, it may be a hazard. So uh, the hazard, uh, slippery runway, uh, will uh, uh, make uh, the aircraft uh, uncontrolled. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So, so it's 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 it's, it's hazard. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Incomplete flight file. Is it a hazard, a risk, a threat? So you see via that kind of example that it's really necessary that in your documentation you mention for your organization, what is a risk, what is a threat, what is a hazard, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, in order that everybody will speak the same language and everybody must understand everybody, okay? So, so ju just to, to explain you. Uh, so incomplete flight plan will be also, will be also a hazard. Uh, incomplete aircraft de-icing, hazard, risk, threat, Risk. So you told me risk. What is a risk for you? Just uh, because of the risk, if we are not you, uh, complete, for example, if we are not the icing completed, maybe we uh, take off. We have some risk. The potential of risk is left you uh, loss of uh, leap. Uh, you have uh, the wrong um, yeah. performance calculation. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, develop a little bit what is the risk so just ju just to clarify in the world because because it's it's a quite interesting to to, to, to consider the work. Uh, incomplete aircraft de-icing is a threat. It's a threat because we have, uh, for example, just one wing de-ice on the aircraft. If we take off, uh, basically, uh, the end of the film will be very bad. A risk is uh, a combination of likelihood and severity. So. Uh, incomplete aircraft de-icing cannot be a risk. A risk will be to take off uh, its probability to have a, a, an incomplete aircraft de-icing regarding the severity of the accident. The severity of the accident will be the crash. So the severity will be maximum. So it's, it's a, a product or a balance between probability Severity. You see what I mean? Hello? Everybody, everybody lost? We're following you. Huh? Okay. Huh? So, so, uh, so in that case, incomplete aircraft de-icing will be a threat. Okay. And the hazard, hazard perhaps uh, could be uh, could be a wrong, wrong product to the eyes of the aircraft or, or bad, bad, bad process to the eyes of the aircraft or something like that. Okay, you, you see what I mean? Uh, okay, see if we move, uh, move on, a wrong signage on the airport. Hazard, risk, threat. Hello? Is he a hazard? Yeah, it's hazard. It's hazard. Okay, we continue. Binder collision. Binder collision. 
les jeunes, basically, it's, it's an either hazard risk or threat, it's an accident. You agree? CFIT is the same. CFIT control flight into terrain is neither hazard risk or threat, an accident. Okay, right. so, so, so uh, I show you that kind of example just to, uh, to, to introduce the fact that it is really necessary in your documentation that uh, via Pillar 2, Pillar 2 for me it's tools that you plan to use for your analysis and so on, uh, it's necessary to clarify what you call a hazard, what you call a risk, what you call a threat, what you call an accident. Okay, and if we come back, if we come back to the previous slide, that's the reason why I suggest that the organization uh, start from an accident mapping. Accident mapping means what kind of accident I, I do not want to see in my organization. After that, to see the unwanted event, and uh, after that, to use a matrix in order to uh, to try uh, to evaluate to evaluate the risk and once once again risk oops sorry once again the risk uh, is probability for a scenario regarding severity okay so uh, if we continue uh, for sure, clear after the glass will be a hazard. Okay, smoke will be a threat. Uh, fuel contamination will be a threat also, and so on and so on. Okay, engine failure, engine failure, for sure, will be a threat. Okay, so so you see that uh, sometimes sometimes is difficult when you have expert from maintenance, expert from flight ops, expert from uh, cabin. It's, it's uh, difficult to, to speak the same language. That's the reason why it's really interesting to state in your SMS manual what you call threat, what you call hazard. You have a list of hazard or a list of threat and so on and so on. In order that all, uh, all the uh, SMS process, procedure, wording will be disseminated throughout the, uh, the airline, the organization, okay? Any question regarding that? Hello, hello, hello? We're here. Okay, so uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, when you start your uh, hazard mapping methodology, uh, very often uh, it's interesting to see uh, what, uh, what, which discipline is involved. And I propose in this slide, I propose uh, a way to proceed. It is not uh, the only way, you may proceed differently, but it's, uh, it's a way to proceed and to try to find your your uh, your major your uh, hazards uh, you may face uh, during your operation. Okay, uh, so once again, it's necessary to standardize the wording, standardize within the company. If you don't have any 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 standard any standardization, I'm sorry. Uh, you can use uh, the works uh, performed by uh, ICAO, performed by IATA, and so on. You have already a lot of, uh, lot of uh, things uh, done. And uh, what is interesting also, uh, it's to standardize wording, but also to share with uh, your, uh, within your organization to share the uh, relevant data, okay? So it's, uh, it's time for lunch for you. Uh, I suggest uh, we come back, everybody, uh, in one hour. Is it okay for you? Yes, that's okay. One hour is okay. Okay, that's fine. So have a good lunch. Thank you. <laughs> and have a good breakfast. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
Ok ạ, okay, mọi người quay lại vào 1 giờ 15 nhé Ok Chị ơi, đọc lại đọc lại cái link dung nhỏ cái 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 ID dung như vậy ạ Hổ như vậy ạ ID dung ạ, ID dung anh đang vào à, dung đây ạ à? Đang vào dung nhưng vào trên điện vào trên điện thoại bây giờ mình thoát ra thì tí nó vào nó lại mất mình quên mất cái ID rồi nãy chưa kịp chụp ở trên web webex. Vâng để bọn em gửi lại ID zoom ngay trên chat nhé. Mọi người lưu lại ạ, em đọc lại luôn này. Rồi. Đó là 824 824 537 537 65311 65311. Vâng. ID pass. Pass là 838 838 806 806 Ờ, nếu được ban tổ chức làm một cái group Viber thì có gì mình chuyển thông tin cho nó nhanh Tại vì lúc nãy ở nhà vô tình mẹ mất điện đang lúc nói Thế là không làm sao mà vào được hết Chứ tìm mãi là hay mãi tìm được cái cái code link này À thế ạ, vâng ừ. Ban tổ chức làm một cái group Viber đi Mọi người có thể post cái số điện thoại lên để app Còn em thì có thể là gửi vào email thôi Tại vì không phải tất cả mọi người ở đây cung cấp điện thoại Cung cấp số điện thoại à, Mình có thể cho số điện thoại vào cái, 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 cái phần chat này này Chứ còn email, check email lâu quá gửi cũng lâu. Chứ người vui lòng ghi lại cái ID cho em còn nếu không thì em sẽ ghi lại số điện thoại của em và có người nào mà không vào được thì sẽ trực tiếp liên hệ với em. Ok ừ. vậy. Rồi đọc số điện thoại em được, đọc số điện thoại của app cũng được. Vâng ạ, 036 036 895 895 4836 4836 rồi Hồng đúng không ạ? Hồng, Hồng Anh. Đúng Hồng rồi. Anh. Vâng. À, ông anh ơi mình vừa, vừa gửi cái mail nhà bạn gửi cái slide qua mail cho mình nhé. Dạ vì... vâng, em gửi luôn đây. Vâng. Vâng, ok. Vâng. Vì, vì mình vào tango nó khó quá. Vâng, <cười> chắc là có một chút vấn đề và ngại để em gửi luôn nhé. Vâng. vâng, 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 cảm ơn ông anh nhé. Ôi, mà mâm này của Đức mà. Nó để nó con Đức mà. Đổi qua nó đều nhiều mệt lắm. Đổi. Trời ơi, chính này. Ui trời ơi, trời ơi, trời ơi, trời ơi.